In this video, let me consider one numerical to find equivalent resistance. Determine the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B for the circuit shown below. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to find the equivalent resistance between terminal A which is here and terminal B which is here. So here we can observe that this point and this point are same. This point and this point are same. So just I will push this here and I will push this here and let me redraw the circuit. So this is the given circuit. So in this circuit we can observe that neither any resistance are in series nor in parallel. So it is very difficult to simplify this. So in such cases we supposed to go for star delta transformation. So from this circuit we can observe that 2 ohm register, 3 ohm register and 4 ohm registers are connected in star fashion. So we will try to convert this star connected registers into delta fashion. So in that case the equivalent delta circuit will appear like this. Here we have we will get one register and here we will get one register between node C and B and between B and D there is one register. Let me call this as R1, this as R2 and this as R3. So 2, 3, 4 are connected in star, R1, R2, R3 are connected in delta. So now we will try to find R1, R2, R3 with the help of 2, 3, 4 which are connected in star. So here R1 can be calculated as that is R1 will be equal to product of this into this, this into this, this into this divided by 4. That is R1 will be equal to 2 into 4 plus we have 4 into 3 plus we have 3 into 2. 3 into 2 divided by, so we are calculating R1, the opposite register is 4. This 4 will come in denominator. So simplifying this that is we have 8 plus 12 plus we have 6 divided by 4 that is nothing but 26 divided by 4 so it gives 6.5 ohm so value of r1 is 6.5 ohm let me calculate r2 so r2 will be equal to so here the numerator part will be same that is 26 divided by here denominator is here we have register R2 opposite to this is 3 ohm. So 3 ohm will come in denominator. So 26 by 3 it gives 8.667 ohm. Similarly let me calculate R3 that is R3 will be equal to again here numerator is same that is 26 De denominator will be 20 R3 the opposite register is 2. So 2 will come in denominator which is equal to 13 ohm. So here R1, R2, R3 register resistance values we have found. Now let me redraw the circuit. So here 4 and 2 will appear as it is. So we have this is 4. This is 4 ohm. This is 2 ohm. This is terminal A. Then we have R1 between terminal C and D. So here we have R1, so this is R1, so R1 value is already we have found that is 6.5 ohm, this is 6.5 ohm, so now we have to connect R2 between node C and B, so this is node C, this is D, so here we have R2. So this is R2 will be equal to the value of R2 is 8.667 that is 8.667 and in between so this is node B so this is node B so in between node B and D there is R3 so here we have R3 this is R3 the value of R3 is 13 ohms. This is 13 ohm. So apart from this we have 3 ohm and 1 ohm which is connected between C and B, D and B. So let me connect one more register 3 between C and B, C and B that is 3 ohm. 
so this is 3 ohm and we have 1 ohm between D and B so in between this we have 1 ohm so now again from this circuit we can observe that here 3 ohm and 8.667 ohm are in parallel and these two resistance are in parallel that is 13 ohm and 1 ohm are in parallel let me reduce the circuit further So this is 4, this is 4 ohm, 2 ohm, here we have terminal A, so here 6.5 will be as it is, so this value is kept as it is 6.5, now 3 ohm and 8.667 are in parallel, the equivalent resistance will be, that is 3 is parallel with 8.667. So that is nothing but 3 into 8.667 divided by 3 plus 8.667. So simplifying this, we will get 2.228. Similarly, here 13 and 1 are in parallel. That is another value. 1, 3 is parallel with 1. That is nothing but 13 into 1 divided by 13 plus 1. So, simplifying this, we will get 0 0.928. So, let me replace these two register by 2.228. So, here we have 2.228 and here we have 0 0.928. So, these two are connected to node B. So, here this is the reduced circuit. Now, here we can see that this is node C and this is node D. So further here, no any resistance are in series nor in parallel. So again, we have to reduce this. Here we can observe that 6.5, 2.228 and 0 0.928 which are in connected in delta fashion, try to convert that into star fashion. So this is the same circuit. Now this is node C and D. So here I will convert 6.5, 0 0.928 and 2.228 which are in delta into star. The structure of star circuit will look like this. So let me call this as R1, this as R2 and this as R3. So here value of R1 can be calculated as R1 will be equal to two, this register into this register divided by sum of these three registers. That is 2.228 into 6.5 divided plus 6.5 plus 0 0.928. So simplifying this, so the numerator value is 14.482 divided by denominator value will be 9.656. One point four nine nine, which is almost equal to one point five ohm. Similarly, let me calculate R two. So here R two will be equal to product of six point five and this one. That is six point five into zero point nine two eight. Denominator will be same. That is nine point six five six. So value of numerator will be six point zero three two divided by nine point six five six which will be equal to 0 0.624 ohm. Similarly, let me calculate R3. So R3 will be equal to product of this register and this register. That is 2.228 into 0 0.928 divided by denominator will be same. That is 9.656, which is equal to 0 0.214 ohm. So now let me redraw this circuit with the equivalent circuit that is here we have 4 ohm as it is, 2 ohm as it is, this is node A and here we have this is R1 and here we have this is R2 and here we have R3. So R1 value is 1.5, this is 1.5 and this R2 value is 0 0.624 and this R3 value is 0 0.214. This is node B. 
so now further we can observe that this is 4 and this is 2 so here 4 and 1.5 are in series 2 and this are in series so further i can simplify this as so further here 4 and 1.5 are in series this and this are in series that is this is node a we have this is 4 plus 1.5 that is 5.5 and here we have 2 and 0.624 that is 2.624 are in parallel and this 0.214 will be here here we have 0.214 this is p so now here we can observe that 5.5 and 2.264 are in parallel that combination will be in series with 0.214 so here 5.5 is parallel with 2.624 so its value is 5.5 into 2.264 divided by 5.5 plus 2.264 so simplifying this will get 1.776 ohm so i can draw here we have one register 1.776 ohm this is node a and 0.214 is in series and here we have 0.214 this is node b so simplifying this we'll get both are in series so we'll get the value as 1.99 ohm which is almost equal to 2 ohm so therefore we can write the equivalent resistance between a and b is 2 ohm this is the required result thank you for watching